Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Elementary Statistics Online at Frederick Community College. My name is Professor Val Lachman and I will be your instructor for this class. And here's a picture of me so you know who I am. I'm the one in the middle on all happy and smiley at the graduation a year ago with some of my colleagues. So if you are on campus and you recognize me, please say hi. I'll be glad to talk to you. Okay, so in this video, we will go through the main things you need to know to get started. And I have a list of things I would like to go through. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Blackboard will be your main place to get information about the course. Okay, I will be sending weekly announcements um, and then a couple more throughout the week. Everything is linked on Blackboard. Everything is located. That is your central place to go to. And the first thing that you should do, just go ahead and browse through all of the links and get familiar with the structure of the class. Okay, next thing to do, textbook. If you go to course materials, it is listed as the second item. Let's go ahead and get it loaded. Um, it is 900 pages long. This is an open educational resources textbook, which means it's completely free. Um, yes, it is pretty long, but just don't worry about it. We're not going to read all of it, okay? And you can also see that um, the way the book is structured, there's many, many tables and plots and graphs, and sometimes you just have one page for one example, okay? So the way it's been done, it just seems like a lot more information than there really is. Okay, so I would go ahead and download it on your computer and um, just keep it. But it will be linked here um, on the course page uh, for the rest of the semester. So that is your main source of information. If you would like to get it printed, um, Staples can do that, Amazon can do that. But honestly, I don't recommend printing it because we're not going to use even half of the textbook material, okay? We will be very, very selective on which sections to read, which examples to go through, um, and so forth, <clears throat> okay? So the textbook um, PDF is required, but not the printed, the printed version, okay? All right, next item on the agenda is My Open Math. Okay, My Open Math will be our online homework platform. And if you go here, let's see, let me go ahead and log out. Um, it is pretty self explanatory how to sign up. You go to register as a new student, you will fill out your information, and then course ID and enrollment key are listed over here. They're also listed in the syllabus. And this is also free. Okay, so that's great. The book is free. The online homework is free. The textbook and the um, online homework assignments are linked. So when you're working on a problem, you will have a button that says um, link to the textbook and it will take you to that place. Um, and it will have all sorts of videos attached to it. So they are actually cohesive in that sense. Okay, let's see, what is the next item? Calculator. Calculator is required for this class. We have TI 8384 or an app requirement. Okay, so over here, I give you all these different options to um, have. So if you already have a TI 8384 calculator, that's great. If you don't, um, consider getting an app um, because it's a lot cheaper. So Wabitamu is completely free and Graph and Calc is about $7, which is still a lot cheaper than buying a brand new calculator. If you would like to have an actual calculator, I strongly encourage you to look for a used one. Go on Craigslist or go on Facebook to Marketplace. You can get one for $20 to $40. Um, compare them to 130, okay? And then when you're ready to take a test, our FCC Testing Center will provide a calculator for you if you don't have one. And they will also let you use your own if you have it, okay? So these are 
the options for having a calculator. Videos. I will be providing pre-recorded videos, okay? So they will be short videos with examples and some concepts. So these are not long lectures, okay? These are very short videos that, well, some of them are a little longer than others that I know, okay, students struggle with this particular concept, okay? One thing I do want to mention, and I'm going to emphasize it, that you can request a video for a specific concept. If you're struggling with, let's say, Multiplication rule for probability. Just shoot me an email um, and say, hey, I would like maybe another one or two examples. I'm really not following this particular concept or topic. Okay? And then we'll do my best to make a video about that. So let's go ahead and say um, I'll need one to two days to work on that, depending on um, what day you're actually requesting that um, video from. Okay? But I will definitely do my best to um, accommodate your request. So that's it about the course materials. That's all you will need to know. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weekly load. How is your week going to go? Go to module one, week one. And here, week one is already done for you guys. So the first thing that you will see is the reading. Um, for now, the first section, uh, the first chapter will have all sections listed, right? So they're not very long. There's a lot of examples that you can skip, a lot of problems that you would work through with the class, okay? So definitely skip those. Uh, but main body, main definitions and stuff like that, that one definitely um, will need to be read, okay? So we read through sections 1.1 through 1.6. That's your reading assignment, Okay assigned sections only, then we work on online homework, and that is part of your grade. Online homework is mandatory in that sense that that is part of your overall grade, okay? Um, so that's online homework. There's infinitely many attempts, many attempts um, for each problems, but there are deadlines, absolutely, okay? Uh, most of them are Mondays except the first two homework assignments are due on Tuesday um, because we start on the 20th, which is a Wednesday, okay? So that's the reason. All right, so let's go back here and let's see what else we got. Course tasks. So these are low stakes, lower percentage as far as your grade goes. Um, assignments to keep you guys coming to the class. Basically, this is the attendance. Uh, these are... Um, things that you can do very quickly, but it will keep you coming every week, okay? So, how would you do it? So, the first one right here, it says the following. It has three things that you need to do. Submit the honors pledge, post self-introduction, and then submit the statement um, that you've read the syllabus. So, the honors pledge, where is that? If you go to start here, it is the second item on um, the menu, Academic Honesty, you click on this link right here, you fill in your information, um, send an email to blockman at frederick.edu, and you will get a confirmation from me. I will say something um, of the matter, okay, I received your pledge, okay? That is the first thing we do. Then, the next thing is, Discussion board introduction, okay? Discussion board is right here on the left side, and I will reply to your um, introduction, and some other people can reply too. That is um, absolutely allowed. Then the last thing to do is to submit the statement. So what you're going to do, I know this is not very intuitive, but once you do it one time, it's pretty simple. We're going to just go ahead and click on course task. And then it tells you when that's due, how many points, and then what you're going to do, you're just going to write the submission. Okay, and just in here, you're going to say my name is Bell Lockman. I read the syllabus, da 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 da, submit it. Okay, I'm not going to submit it because it's actually not going to go anywhere. So 
that's how you would do it. There's the submit button right here. Quickly, very quick, it should take you what, I don't know, maybe a minute to do that, okay? And then in that case, I will have record that you've done it. I will be able to assign you a grade. I will be able to give you comments and so forth. So that is the best way to submit these course tasks, okay? So that's course tasks. They will vary in nature. Sometimes it will be, oh, watch this video and um, give some comments, but they are weekly um, done through Blackboard low priority. So 5% for all of them, right? But still, there are definitely um, things that you should be able to do. Okay, videos. Um, so again, these are videos from your instructor, from myself. You don't have to watch it, not mandatory, but strongly encouraged. Okay, and then written activities. Okay, so let me show you where those are. Written activity number one is linked right here where the assignment checklist for chapter one is, okay? So there's five problems. In my face-to-face -face class, this is what we would do in class after covering chapter one, okay? So this would be open book, open notes. You can talk to each other. You can discuss it with your classmates. Um, and I would actually collect it for grading, but I'm not going to be collecting it from, from you guys uh, for the summer, okay? So I strongly encourage you all to work on these problems because this, think about it as the test bank. This is what problems will look like on the test. And the best way to do it, or uh, to practice it, is actually do these problems um, before the test, okay? So you are allowed to discuss these problems with classmates. You can post your solutions on discussion boards. You can um, ask tutors for help. You can ask me for help. Um, so definitely, definitely do them, okay? Even though they're not graded, even though they're not collected. I cannot emphasize the importance of doing these activities, okay? So that is your written activities. Okay, so we're done with a weekly load. Let's see, communication. My email is the best way to communicate with me for personal matters. Okay, fine. Let's move it over here. All right, it doesn't matter. Personal matters. So if it's something that you cannot discuss in front of the class, then definitely send me an email. Um, about it. Let's say, you know, you got sick and you need a one or two day extension. That's fine. Okay. Send that to my email. Okay. Discussion board, anything that other students can benefit from. Okay. So if you have a question about a concept, let's say hypothesis testing, um, just please um, post a discussion board. Forum, okay, because if somebody else can benefit from it, it's probably better if we talk about it in a public place, okay? And don't be afraid to ask questions because I'm sure if you have a question, someone else, at least one other person, will have exactly the same question. So that's communication. As far as responding to your emails, um, timeline is about 24 hours, usually a lot quicker. A lot quicker but just in case something happens it is the summer it's summertime after all so allow 24 hours um, if you don't hear from me after 24 hours Monday through Friday send me another email okay maybe you went to my junk mail or something okay but I'm usually pretty good about responding rather quickly so that's everything you need to know as far as the class goes Okay, so one last thing that I want to mention, some tips for success. And this comes from many, many times of teaching this class. The number one thing that I want to tell you guys is do something about this class every single day or every other day. What do I mean by that? 
maybe read one section today, one tomorrow, one on Wednesday and so forth. Do 20 minutes here, half an hour there, 10 minutes here, you know, five minutes, anything you can do. Just don't wait till Monday night and do all of it at once. It will not be pleasant. You will get behind. It's a guarantee, okay? And I'm saying it because I've seen many, many, many students struggle with time management. Okay, when it comes to an online class, it is not the material that's difficult. It's managing your time. So my biggest piece of advice, try to do something or at least every other day. Okay, um, and um, ask for help. Definitely ask me for help. Your classmates, we have FCC tutors. Um, if you're falling behind, if you're um, not understanding something, don't just let it go. Definitely ask for help. Try to make a schedule and stick to it, okay? So these are some of the tips for success um, that I would say are pretty important. And like I said before, uh, usually if students are struggling, it is not the material. It's just getting behind, not doing stuff, okay? That's what gets students in trouble. But I'm here to help, so definitely let me know if I can help with anything. Um, don't be shy. Um, definitely send an email. I'm also on campus um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So let me see. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm on campus in the first half of the day. I do teach a class, but I can meet with you if we absolutely need to. Um, so definitely shoot me an email and we'll set up a time. But other than that, this is it. So thank you for watching it. Um, if you still have any questions about anything before the class starts, definitely let me know and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thank you and welcome to the class again.